Yep. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Yo, first, I want to congratulate you on a killer season. Thank you. Banana season, you know, and coming on really Thank strong you. at the end, dude. It's great. And, Thank you. Uh, I know we're talking about Panini today, but I really have to say that uh, they got a good one out there, bro. They got a good one. So thank you. Congratulations. I'm looking at this, the numbers right now. Um, I mean, there's only that was you had 90 catches. That's like seventh all time. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, man, you turned it up. Turned it up. So my, it. Thank you. my name is Mike Vivolo. I'm good friends with Marlon. I live up here in New York. As you can see, I'm a Giants fan. Yeah. Uh, but we uh, we do a lot of stuff with Panini. I do a lot of card stuff. In fact, tonight um, we're doing it. We do every Thursday. We do a card giveaway. And I wish I had okay. some of your cards. I actually asked him. I was like, would he be able to come on at like 8 p.m. with me? But yeah. on IG Live, we do a card giveaway. So okay. got a bunch of, you know, all Panini stuff, um, fun stuff. We do sports trivia. And then I, I, I send out the cards to the, to the winners. Okay. Um, but tell me about your uh, – Tell me about your experience with Panini and like seeing yourself, you know, you're a rookie, but like you got a trading card now, man. You, you know, you got like, it's like really real. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it's dope to see. Um, you know, I didn't collect too many, I didn't collect trading cards growing up. Um, you know, I did a little bit of Pokemon and whatnot, but never, you know, athletes on actual cards. So uh, I wasn't really into it growing up, but finally being able to see myself on a card and seeing people actually, you know, invest and really, so I know just crazy fans. I really love cards and really invest in these cards. So it's cool to see, you know, my face, my my jersey on a card and to have people really support me through cards is awesome to see. Did you have to autograph a bunch? I did. I actually had to do like 7,000. Uh, yeah. I think it was yesterday. I signed 7,000. So it was definitely it took me about four hours, but it was it was fine. It was <laughs> you signed 7,000 yesterday? Yeah. That's funny. Uh, that's cool, man. And uh, so – did you do any, cause I'm going to get, I have a lot of questions for you because your story and of course your family story is so cool. Um, yeah. Do you have a, this year, did you play every game? Uh, yes, I did. 17 games. Look at that. Um, 912 yards. Amon Ra, St. Brown. Amazing dude. Um, what was your welcome to the NFL moment? Uh, you know, I never really had a welcome. I would say a welcome to the NFL moment. Um, honestly, like, I never had really a hard hit. People always ask, you know, what was the hardest hit you took? I never really took any hard hits like that. Um, I would just say, you know, one of the crazier, I would say, welcome to my NFL moments was the first week when we played the 49ers. Uh, you know, they had me chip uh, Bosa on the edge. So that was pretty cool because, you know, growing up, you know, I know he's a young player too, but you watch him in the Super Bowl uh, yeah. two or three years ago. So that was pretty cool where I, when I chipped him and then going against Pat Peters, I would say, on the Vikings. Um, I would definitely say it's more crazy during the week when you're watching him on tape and like, wow, that's really Pat P. But once yeah. you're actually out there, you're not thinking about it too much. You're just, you know, playing the game, trying to make sure you do your job. So it was, the, I would say those two right there. Who was the toughest, uh, the toughest DB this year for you? Um, you know, it's hard to say. A lot of teams, they do play zone. So it's never really a lot of, a lot of man. Um, uh, Jalen Ramsey won against the Rams. He's a, he's, he's really good. Um, went against the Ravens, against Humphrey. Um, so, I mean, those two guys were, you know, those are some of the top cornerbacks in, in the NFL. So, I mean, those are some good names right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, so now that the Packers are out and your brother is out, and uh, we, what do you call him? Do you call him E? Do you pronounce his whole name? Does he have a nickname or something like that? Because this... uh, they call him EQ. EQ uh, yeah. is out, unfortunately. Uh, what is your, do you have a, um, kind of an idea or a, or a pick for the, this weekend and, and Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm going to go – my pick, I'm going to go with the home team, the Rams. Um, you know, this game's going to be in SoFi. It's going to be – you know, Tampa won it last year in Tampa. So, it's only right if I feel like if the Rams do win it. I think, you know, Stafford's playing great. You got Cup. You got Odell. You got Akers that just came back. Their defense is looking real good now with Vaughn, with the addition of Vaughn. So, I'm taking the Rams. Okay. Anyone, any USC, any USC boys on the Rams? Um, I actually do not think so. Not on the Rams, no. There's one on the uh, one on the 49ers that I played with, uh, Talano Fonga. He's a safety. Um, but yeah, no one on the Rams. But you think. are you are um kind of keeping a, a long tradition of of USC receivers that are uh, you know having success in this in this league. Have you gotten to like meet and hang out with either like 
I'm just thinking of off the top of my head, Keyshawn, you know, that's kind of the one that jumps out to me, but also Juju, uh, any of those guys that you like, uh, got to like chat with over like the past, like recently? Yeah, I've been with, uh, I've hung out with Juju quite a bit, quite a bit, um, last year during the off season, obviously he got hurt this year, which was, you know, sad to see, but I'm sure, you know, he stays out here too during the off season. So I'm sure we'll link up, but you know, play with Michael Pittman. Um, oh, yeah. Actually, I think about it. The the Rams do have a USC player, Robert Woods. He, unfortunately, he's hurt, but oh, he's still right, on the team. Right. Um, so if oh, they do win, we got SC. We got SC on that team too. So we'll be good. There you go. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, and then of course you come come a long line of just tradition at SC in general. Um, what about um, what about you know? And I won't keep you at much longer, dude. This is awesome. Um, but I do appreciate like you ch- you chat, and I know you're busy. What about um? You, it's so funny. You kept saying like growing up. Like for you, that's like five years ago (laughs) eight years ago uh but growing up who were like you know the people that you looked up to like either players were you always a receiver did you ever play like defense and maybe thought that was going to be your thing or a qb or anything yeah i played a running back my whole life growing up all the way up until um my sophomore year high school so once i was a sophomore in high school that's when i started playing receiver um but players that i liked Growing up, I would say, were Julio, Antonio Brown, and uh, Odell. Those are three players that I loved watching growing up. Um, you know, I feel like Odell swag, Odell's just the way he approached the game, his swag as a receiver. Um, Antonio Brown, you know, the way he played on the Steelers, that was something that's, you know, being young, I loved watching with Ben. And then Julio, just being the freak that he is. Uh, I mean, you just can't, you can't turn that down. So those are three guys that I love watching. Uh, but now that I'm older and I'm in the NFL, uh, you know, I love watching other players play, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm no no fan of these players um, just because we're at the same level now. And yeah. my goal is to, you know, obviously overtake him. So good, man. Well, you're, you're I mean, you're only one catch behind Od- 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 Odell. He had 91 when he was a rookie. Saquon had 91. Those are our Giants. Those are our Giants, guys. That was like okay. holding on. That's like the only thing I can hold on to right now as a, as a yeah. Giants fan. Let me bring you back real quick to the, the game against the Packers this year when your parents – we're wearing the jerseys with the yep. different – how did that – did someone – obviously someone had to make those, but, like, what was, like, the 24 hours before that? What was, like, the conversations in the family? You guys have, like, some a group text or something like that? Uh, we actually went to dinner the night before in okay. Detroit, which was pretty cool, uh, with my brother, um, our family, and some other people. So it was awesome. But the trash talk, I mean, it wasn't too much trash talk, but the one thing that my brother could say was, yeah, we're going to the playoffs, so we're, we're resting a lot of our starters, which they did. <laughs> they probably just played, like, two series – and then came out. But, you know, it was at the end of the day, it's it's the NFL. Everyone's playing to win. So we're one on one. Um, hopefully I can, you know, in these next couple of years, I can say that I've. You scored a TD in that game, game, though. I did. I scored. Yep. Yeah. And then well, my dad's jersey, the, what happened with that was he actually bought one of my jerseys and one of his. And he was trying to figure out, you know, do I just wear uh, my jersey and then my mother wear a yeah. jersey? But what he said he was actually in the clothing business, in the clothing industry growing up. He had his own clothing business. So he just went to, you know, went to L.A. where he always used to go for his clothes, had a guy cut, cut mine up and his up. And then so he split it, split both between, you know, my mom and my dad. So my dad had you know, the front really of cool. mine at EQ and then my mother had a flip. So it was Yeah, cool. yeah. That was amazing. Um, yeah. Do you uh, do they come to every do they try to get to all, all your games? Uh, not really. It's just a lot of traveling, you know, in the yeah. NFL because I don't, you know, I'm in Detroit, all my home yeah. games. So just so much traveling that they didn't, they couldn't go to too many games. They only went to, I would say, I think three of my games. But that's great. The, the, the album was definitely on the list, right? Yeah. At the beginning of the season, you know, you, you make the team and that's, that's going to be on the list, the brother, the, and that's going to be every season too. Yeah. That's, yeah. Hopefully. That's, yeah. that's really cool. Um, all right, man. Thanks, man. This is Amon Ron St. Brown. Uh, amazing season. Looking forward to you. Hey, listen, I have all I have to say is that, you know, the draft, you know, the next thing we're already going on to the draft because we have nothing to look forward to in life Uh here in New York. We have 11 picks. All I have to say is to you and to everyone out there, it's like you can get you find amazing talent at all levels of the draft, all levels of of undrafted free agents. I just want to say to my giant fans, you see what we can do. I'm looking at the organization. We can find yeah. people everywhere, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, you were slept on. You're proving yourself that like you shouldn't have been slept on out there. Um, and good luck, man. And then, the, you know, the Lions, who knows what they're going to bring in. Maybe they'll bring in, an, like, a, you know, I don't know what you need, but probably yeah, uh, definitely. some some linemen or something. I don't know who's mocked up to go to you. Oh, one of those, one of those D, those D, uh, those D ends. 
Yeah, yeah. I'd be chipping them all day in practice now. <laughs> that would be fun. Hutchinson in there. Yes, sir. All right, man. Cool. Appreciate you. Thank you.